Hello and welcome to KnowledgeBank.pro. The topic of the today's video is role level security versus data masking. I assume that you have some idea of what role level security is. We're not going to be going too deep into that concept in this video. Instead, I will spend most of the time talking about data masking. However, I do need to frame up and compare the two so you guys have an idea uh, of how those two differ. So. Uh, role level security is very similar to filtering. So uh, here we have my uh, revenue analysis dashboard and you can see that I'm looking at revenue and uh, I can analyze it across multiple products. So if I had two salespeople and product salesperson one could see product A and salesperson two could see product B, if I implement role level security so that salesperson one can only see product A, then when that user logs in as salesperson one, the total sales that he would be able to see would be whatever happened to this product one. So in our case, product 001 has $1.7 million revenue. So all of my visuals and everything on this page uh, would only be able to show $1.7 million. That's not the behavior that we would like to achieve with masking. So. Uh, instead of me defining it, let me just show you what I mean by data masking. So here I am. I logged in as Jane. And on the surface, as you look at the screen, other than the yellow bar at the very top telling you who I am logged in as, nothing's really changed. I see all of the products still, and I see all of the revenue still. The reason I can see that is because I've implemented the data masking logic, and that logic states the following. I can see the totals for every product, However, as soon as I start looking at my product by distribution channel, or in your case, it could be by brand, by geography, by country, uh, and so forth. So whatever it is that will give more detail to the total, uh, what you want to do is with data masking is you want to hide everything that user is not supposed to see, but still display things that they are supposed to see. And this is drastically different to role level security because with role level security, I would, I would have hidden everything. So my entire total would have changed. And the problem we're trying to solve with data masking is I still want to see all of my totals and I only want to mask the data when I start drilling down to information and take the paths I'm not supposed to see. So let's see what Jane's experience is. So if I'm looking at product 001 and I try to drill down into this product, you see that Jane only has access to the direct channel. Everything else for other channel is masked. You could see asterisks. And the same will happen if I look into other products. So you see that she can only see the channel that she's responsible for. Let me log in as John and see if his experience could be any different. Okay, now I'm looking at uh, this dashboard, having logged in as John, and you can see that I'm logged in as John at the top left corner of the screen. And again, at the top, uh, at the high level, nothing's changed. I'm seeing the same numbers. However, if, as I drill into product 01, now John can only see his channel, and his channel is third party. And the same experience is going to be as he browses across all his other, all other products. So we're masking all other channels, we put an asterisk there, and we only show, uh, actually in this case, he cannot see anything uh, because uh, he's only responsible for the third party, so he cannot see any products, but uh, hopefully he'll see something. So he can only see something in product one because that has the channel that he has. So 360,000. And now let's log in as a super user and see what his experience might look like. And here I am logged in as Andre, and Andre can see everything. So let's see what uh, Andre's experience is like. So if I go to product 01, I see everything, product 03, everything, product 02, everything, and so forth. So Andre is set up as having all access, and uh, Andre can see everything. So let's take a look at how this is done. Hopefully now it's clear how role level security is different from uh, masking. And we will talk about what you need to do to implement this feature in your model. The first thing you need to do to implement this feature is you need to capture which user can see which components of your model. In my case, I'm securing distribution channel table. Uh, and uh, therefore, I created a table that maps uh, every user who could potentially log in with uh, every distribution channel they can see. So in this case, Andre can see everything. 
and uh, John can see third party, Jane can see direct, Jack digital, and Jacob retail. If John uh, uh, was allowed to see more than one channel, then you would just create a new record and you say John can also see digital, for example. So this sort of design allows you to create, uh, allow access for one more or all channels to your users. Step number two is to implement uh, a measure that I'm, in my case I call is masked. So the final measure that I use in my table is called masked revenue. And the way that measure works is I checked for is masked. And if it's supposed to be masked, I just display an asterisk. And if it's uh, not supposed to be masked, if I have access, I display the revenue uh, as I normally would. So literally, this is a very trivial measure. Hope it makes perfect sense. Uh, the key to this whole uh, masking f um, logic uh, resides in this is masked measure. So let's see how that works. Now we're looking at the is masked measure. And you could see that the logic is fairly simple. Basically, what we're saying is we need to check for three things. Think number one, do I have all access? So if a user logged in that has all access, then obviously we're not going to mask anything. Thing number two, does the user have access to this particular channel? So if I had if I've selected one channel, uh, then I want to make, make sure that I do have access to it. And number two is if I have selected more than one channel, more than two channels rather, then I'll, I'll, I would, I would want to show it to everybody, to all of these users. Why do I say two? Well, because if, I, if my cell only has two values, so let's say I only sold products to two channels and I can see one channel, but I cannot see the other, by the virtue of only having two channels, I can work out what the other channel value is by just deducting my value from the sum. So to make it a little bit more secure, uh, I'm ensuring that I cannot work out um, the values that I'm not supposed to see. And then, so we will go through all these calcs. Uh, and then at the very end, uh, uh, what we're saying is if I have all access or there are more than two channels available uh, for me to see, or I have, if there's only one channel and I have rights to that channel, then don't mask it. Show me the value. Otherwise, go ahead and mask it. Now let's go through individual variable in the calculation and make sure you guys are comfortable with the logic. So the first thing we're doing is we're checking whether the user who is currently logged in has the access uh, to all values, has all access. So the way this works is we have our table and our table, if you remember, has two columns. It has the channel name and the user name. And if the channel is all, then user can access everything. So we're going to use this awesome function that I really love, contains. It's a really fast function. And the way contains works is it's going to look into the table where we're going to do the lookup. Uh, if you're familiar with view lookups, uh, you uh, know very well how this function works. So we're going to look into this table, distribution channel, which is my mapping table. And then we're going to see if there is a column in this table with my current login. User principal name returns uh, my current uh, user credentials, uh, my login. Then I'm going to say, okay, so if my name, if I log in as Andre, is there Andre in the table? And if there is, look into the distribution channel column and see if there's a value all. If this row exists, then it'll return true. If it doesn't exist, it'll return false. Very similar logic works for has channel. So we're going to again look into our mapping table. We're gonna, we know who you are, so we're going to look into the column that has your all of the credentials, all of the logins, and see if your login is in there. And then if it, if it is, we're going to check whether the channel that is in the table matches to the one that's currently selected by the visual. So if all of these things come true, so uh, the channel that's selected and my name are in the table, it's going to return true, which means I do have access to this channel. And then the last piece is we're just going to check how many distribution channels can I see at, uh, right now. So as the pivot table or as the visual paints uh, the results, um, it's going to only see a certain amount of channels depending on which row. So in a, in a sum, uh, it's going to see all the channels. But as you start drilling into channels, it'll only see one, right? So depending on where you are in a table, it'll see one or more channels. And then here we're just saying, okay, uh, make a distinct list of all the channels that you can see 
count how many rows are in this list. And if you could see more than two, then you could see the whole thing. Then more than two channels are visible. And then we go back to our measure and it has, and we're just checking, has all access, two channels that are available, or I, if there's only one, I can still see it. And that's it for this measure. So just in case you guys are not familiar with uh, how to test uh, these features, let me show you quickly. So what you do is you go to modeling and you click on view as, and then here you could specify other users. So you can click on user and normally it would, be, it would be your email address, but you could use any string to test. So I'm just gonna say Jack and say click enter. And you will see that now this report is displayed in the context of Jack and Jack can only see certain uh, values. So in our case, he can only see digital. And you can see that we're masking all other channels and only the digital channel is available for Jack to see and all of the totals still work. So all of the totals still work. I only apply that masking when I drill into the details. Hope you now understand the difference between role level security and masking and hope you found this video to be informative. I was thinking about creating a tutorial for this that you guys can download and understand exactly how all this stuff works. If you guys are interested, please leave me know, let me know in the comments and I will uh, create a tutorial, post it on my blog, post the link um, to the tutorial in the video and you guys will be able to, uh, to uh, play with these calculations by yourself. I will leave the link to the blog for the current video in the description and in my blog I will post all of the calculations uh, that I've used in this video so you guys can at least take a look at the, at the decks and uh, maybe repurpose it for your, own, uh, for your own model. Hope you like this video and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.